Are you tired of hitting roadblocks in your Amazon FBA business because of gated categories and brands? Today, I'm going to show you how to unlock those gates and skyrocket the potential opportunities that you have in your Amazon FBA business through getting ungated in those brands and categories. In addition, I have a free guide for you at my website at askjimmysmith.com forward slash ungate, that link's below and in the description, where you can go and get access to how to get ungated as well as a bunch of ASINs that can auto ungate you for different brands and categories in your Amazon business. Now, just as a disclaimer, some of these may or may not work in your account. They have worked for the ones that we've tested in our business, but ultimately, depending on where your business is at, they may still require certain documentation that we're going to go through here in this video. But this is a free resource that hopefully can help you to get auto ungated and specific brands and categories. We've got over a couple hundred of them, and so I'm really excited to bring that to you. Now, first, let's talk about why Amazon does restrict brands and categories in their business. Now, unfortunately, Amazon has a history of having issues with counterfeit brands and counterfeit products, as well as bad sellers that try to take advantage of the platform. And so the way for Amazon to control this is by limiting what new sellers have access to on the platform. So as new sellers come into selling on Amazon, they are restricted in specific brands and categories. Now, I've actually done a full video of 14 unrestricted categories for Amazon sellers and new Amazon sellers. And you can actually go watch that after the end of this video. But they do restrict a lot of other categories and brands because they don't want to have issues with counterfeit products. And they do this until they trust you as a seller and they can see that your selling metrics, your account health, your history are all strong enough to be able to open up other brands and categories for you to sell on. Now, honestly, there are still brands and categories that I'll never be able to be unrestricted in in my Amazon account. And that's just simply because the brand themselves or Amazon has come through and just locked that down so that it's almost impossible to get ungated unless you have a direct relationship with that particular brand. However, for the majority of brands and products out there, you've got a very high likelihood of being able to get ungated if you're able to do one of a few things that we're going to cover in this video. But essentially, all you have to do is find a distributor or get access to a brand and get 10 of a particular product for that brand. And then you can use that invoice to get ungated ungated on the Amazon marketplace. Now there are going to be some brands that will auto ungate for you. And then there will be some that you get an invoice for you submit it and Amazon seller support doesn't fully help you. And you're still trying to get ungated in that particular brand for a long time. That's just how it works. But let's go ahead and get into the process of how you get ungated what that looks like. There's actually four different types of getting ungated on Amazon. And so we want to make sure to cover all of those what those look like and why it is that Amazon does that. Now, as you can see here, I brought up a screenshot of an Amazon listing page for a Nike product. Now, I'm just going through different products that are typically gated as well as just to show you the examples because there's a plenty of different options that you're going to run across as you're trying to get ungated right now. Now, with Nike, I'm actually utilizing here ASIN Zen. And this particular Chrome extension allows you to see a lot of information on the listing page. I've also used RevSeller plenty of times. I actually have access to both of them. And so you can choose whatever you'd like or you don't have to use this, but I've got multiple examples here in this video where you can see how this would work if you don't have an extra software component for the Chrome extension here. But with Ace and Zen in particular, you can see right here that you're not allowed to sell this product with that little X. And if you click on these arrows, it gives you the ability to request approval to sell this product. Now, whenever I click to request approval, it brings me to this selling application page for Nike. And all you have to do is click the request approval button right there, and it would bring you to the next page, which we're going to discuss in a minute. But I also want to show you how you can get to this for free without having to utilize a software. Now, if you're in Amazon Seller Central, all you have to do is go to catalog and then click on add products. Whenever you click on add products, you can put in any ASIN that you're looking to get added to your Seller Central account, and it will tell you whether or not you should apply to sell it or if you already have ability to sell that product. Now, once you go ahead and do that, in particular, this one is for Oreos, you click on select a condition, and then you would select new if you're selling a new product. Whenever you do that, then you can click apply to sell. Now, after clicking on apply to sell, you would typically get a different response depending on what it is that you were trying to go through and sell. But whenever you click on apply to sell, it will bring you to some sort of a result like
like this where you can click on request approval. Now this is for an Apple Barrel product, but you click on request approval and then you will get one of these four responses from Amazon. Now this very first one is a selling application for the brand. So this is actually for that Nike product at the beginning of these screenshots. And this Nike product actually requires a few different things. So one purchase invoice for products from a manufacturer or a distributor. Now it needs to be dated on or before these dates. It needs to include your name and address, which matches the information in your selling account. It needs to include the name and address of the manufacturer or the distributor, if you're purchasing from a distributor instead. It needs to show the combined purchase of at least 10 units for that brand. It needs to omit pricing information. That's actually optional. You don't have to do that. And then lastly, please note, we may verify your submitted documentation by contacting product vendors you identify in your application. So you don't want to try to skirt the system. You don't want to try to submit a fake invoice or go to a sketchy supplier. You need to provide good suppliers, good invoices, and make sure because Amazon may reach out to those particular brands. They may reach out to the distributor and verify first that you're purchasing from them. And if it is the brand that they reach out to, for instance, Nike, maybe Amazon has a contact at Nike, which I assume they do. And they reach out to say, hey, does this distributor on this invoice, is this a legitimate distributor? If Nike says no, it's not, then they're going to deny your application. Whereas if Nike says, yes, that is a legitimate distributor, then Amazon may approve your application. And so once you have this information, you check off these boxes, you can upload your invoice there. They also ask you to watch this video. You can if you want to, it's not required. A lot of times I recommend just clicking through it just so that way Amazon can see that in their system that you have done so. But ultimately this is the basics of a typical application selling for a brand. The next thing is you'll put in, if you have any comments, you can do that. Also provide any contact information down there so that they can contact. Now, if you don't get that result, then you may get this next result, which is actually this selling application for a brand. Now this was for Oreo. So you can see here, it's basically the same thing. They want one purchase invoice from a manufacturer or distributor dated on or before November 15th, 2023, includes all of the same information here, but they give you one alternative option. Now this isn't on all of the products. This is on this product. So you may not see this, but you may see it depending on the product or category that you're trying to get approved in. Here, they give us an alternative option. Instead of the combined purchase of at least 10 units, they say, if providing an Amazon invoice or order confirmation, please show a combined and fulfilled purchase of at least 50 units. For all other invoices, show the combined and fulfilled purchase of at least 10 units. So in some products, Amazon is the seller on that particular product or brand. So Amazon actually sells Oreo products on their catalog. You can actually go in, make sure that Amazon is both the seller and the shipping uh, supplier there. They're gonna be sold and shipped by Amazon. Now, if you purchase over 50 units from Amazon, then you will get an invoice or an order confirmation if you're utilizing your Amazon business buying account, and you can supply that invoice to get approved. Now, your mileage may vary on this. I've heard differing opinions on whether or not this has worked for people, but Amazon is now giving us this as an option, but you do have to buy 50 units. It may just be easier and better to find a distributor that allows you to buy 10 units or more, but ultimately it's up to you and what you'd like to do. I do want to point out that it says a combined so you could have 50 units of multiple different products that Amazon is the seller on. Again, you have to make sure Amazon's the seller. It's not a third party seller at all. And then it also has to be fulfilled. It can't be something that you placed and then you're submitting that as the invoice and then you cancel the order. It needs to be a fulfilled purchase and Amazon will go back. If you were to return these products, Amazon will most likely figure it out at some point and ding your account. So just make sure that if you're buying 50 units for this purpose, that you keep them, you sell them, you eat them, whatever you have to do, donate them. But this is another option for some of the brands. It's not gonna work for everything. It is only on the ones that Amazon gives you this option for. And again, you drop your invoice here, provide all that information there. They didn't even require a video in this case, but ultimately this is another way that you can deal with that. Uh, the next thing is this is for a particular subcategory. And sometimes it will also be with brands, but in this case, it was you're requesting approval to sell subcategory of plus toys. Now, before you list your products, this is what comes up. Please watch this video, how to comply with Amazon's anti-counterfeiting policy. When you watch that video, you will then be given questions that you should answer and you have to provide the right answers to those questions. I recommend always reading through those questions, reading through the answers that you're selecting from because Amazon may in the future change them. Right now, I've, you know, you get into kind of a rhythm of, oh, okay, these are the answers every time, but Amazon may change them just to start throwing sellers off. I doubt it, but you never know. 
So I recommend always reading the questions, always reading the answers and providing your best answers for these questions. But it does say here, you must watch the video or videos in its entirety and answer the questions correctly to submit your application. Additional language options are available through this link if you need alternative languages to listen to the video as well as answer the questions. Now, after you watch this video, then the next step is going to be these questions and there's other ones as well. Are you a reseller, a distributor, a manufacturer or both for the products that you want to list? In this case, put reseller, distributor. You could be a manufacturer. You could also be both depending on what you're looking at. In this case, or the second question is which of the following statements describes your responsibility when listing products on Amazon? You've got all of these options here. And then you've got if you list products for sale on Amazon that are illegal or otherwise in violation of policies, the following consequences could result. Please select the best answer. In this particular case, it was all of the above. Also in the question before, it was I'm responsible for all products I sell on Amazon. Next question is which of the following represent a best practice when selling on Amazon to ensure compliance with our policies? Again, in this particular case, it was all of the above. Like I've mentioned, be sure to read those questions always. Make sure that you're putting the right answers because <laughs> Amazon could try to trick you sometimes. You never know. Then the next thing is after you do that, you've got another question of all products I intend to sell are authentic, counterfeit, replica, or knockoff products are prohibited on Amazon. And yes, you have to select that you're selling authentic products and then put in your information here for them to be able to let you know if you're approved or not. Now, once you do that, whether it's one of those three, you may get something like this. Hey, your selling application has been approved. Now, in this case, this was actually an auto ungate. So you had the prior three options that Amazon shows are for three different brands or subcategories, etc. This one I applied to sell like I was showing at the beginning of this video. And whenever I applied to sell, it said, hey, you are auto ungated. And so that was an excellent thing to see because as a newer seller, you want to see auto ungating so you don't have to get a distributor invoice. You don't have to do any of these other things. So uh, this is the one that you want to see. Sometimes after you go through some of those other processes, in particular, the last one with the subcategory where we had to watch the video and answer the questions, you'll see this as well, that your selling application was approved. Ultimately, it just depends on the brand, on the category, etc. Now, if you have gone through and you submitted an invoice, then that's going to technically create a case. You won't be auto ungated in that until Amazon reviews the invoice and either approves or denies your particular application. Now, the next thing is after you've done these, maybe you've submitted applications and you want to see where to get them. All you have to do is go to your catalog. Then you go to view selling applications. Whenever you do that, you're going to be able to then see all of them here. Now you can see you can go to application. You can list products for ones that were approved. You can reapply for anything that was declined. Go to application, reapply, list products, etc. You can also see the draft status or if they were approved or denied, etc. And for what they were. I actually hid these brand names, but this is where you would also see the brand names that you're applying for and case IDs that you could click to open the case and see if you're approved or denied and see if they need any further information from you. But once you look at some of these cases, you may have a couple different things that come up. One in particular is right here. Hello, thank you for your application to sell these products. They reviewed the documentation and determined that you are not eligible to sell these products. And then they tell you that, hey, it didn't pass the review. You need to make sure that you are providing the right invoices, et cetera. And you can actually sometimes reapply for that case with either a different invoice or information that they're requesting. And then if you get approved by Amazon, it would look something like this. Hello from Amazon Selling Partner Support. I'm pleased to inform you that we've approved your request and granted you permission to sell in this category or to sell this brand. And that is what you're hoping for after you open in these cases. So there's really a few different options for you in your business, depending on what you're trying to apply for, whether it's a category, a subcategory, a brand, etc. And you may see one of these four different options. You may also see one of other options that come out in the future, but essentially it comes down to this. You can either get auto ungated in a brand or category. That's the best outcome. Typically you can get a video with some questions that you have to answer and you have to answer them correctly and watch the video before they will auto ungate you in that category or brand a lot of times. Or the third one is they're going to ask you for a distributor or a manufacturer invoice that has at least 10 units on that invoice and it matches all of the other information on your Amazon seller account. So you need to make sure that your Amazon seller account matches with all of the information you're purchasing from the supplier from because if it says Jimmy Smith is the name of the Amazon seller account, but 
I'm buying stuff under, you know, Dave Johnson, then it's just not going to match and Amazon's going to not approve it, right? Versus if I had it under the same names and then we're good to go from there. The other thing is you can also, in some instances, be able to apply with an invoice from Amazon if you're using your Amazon buyer account and you're buying from Amazon over 50 units from them as the seller, then you can sometimes utilize that to get ungated in particular brands or categories. Now, as a new seller, do you need to go through and find all these lists to get ungated in brands and categories? Absolutely not. There's no need for that. In fact, I don't even really recommend it, although I do have that resource if somebody wanted it that's free for some of the different ASINs and brands and categories that you can apply in. It's not necessary though, because as you're out and you're sourcing products, doing retail arbitrage or online arbitrage, or buying products from a store, selling it for more on Amazon, as you're doing that, you're gonna come across brands that you're trying to source. And if you are auto ungated, then great. If you're not, well then move on to the next brand. But if you're interested in the free guide that I have have, as well as a list of different ASINs that you can utilize, at least as of right now. And again, it may be different for your account than other people. Then you can go to askjimmysmith.com forward slash ungate. Again, that link's below and in the description. Also, I do have that video on 14 unrestricted categories for new sellers that you can just go into right now and start selling in that category. There may be some restrictions of brands in those categories, but be sure to check out that video next. I'll make sure to link it at the end for you. So what questions are common? do you have leave them down below in the comment section i'll be sure to get to them as soon as i can i hope this video helps you and blesses you and that you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week